everybody seems to be talking about weight loss. There is a magical diet, there is a magical pill. In fact, there is talk about re-engineering your genetics to be able to create a healthier body. Now, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the most well-kept secret of weight loss. Watch it till the end because you're going to get tons of value. Hi, my name is Dr. Arun Deer. I'm a gastrointestinal and a weight loss surgeon. And the field of weight loss surgery is something that I have been practicing, researching and studying for the last two and a half decades. It is a very simplistic model to say that in order to lose weight, eat less and exercise more. However, there could be nothing that could be further from the truth than this statement. See, if you have ever watched the television episodes or the television serial called The Biggest Loser, they would take a bunch of people who were above a certain BMI. Most of them were in the morbidly obese range. They would get them to eat little food and exercise really, really hard to a point where they were exhausted, they were having injuries and all of that. And then they would say, look at these people, they've lost so much weight. Well, Harvard University did an amazing study on 24 of these participants of this program and they followed them for seven years. And what they found was majority of these patients had not only regained most of the weight, but here is the striking information. They had not only had a significant slowing down of their metabolism, but more importantly, their hunger hormones, which is the ghrelin and the leptins, the imbalance of which leads you to drive and go for more foods. Even though you are so full, your hunger is out of control. That is what these patients experienced. Their hunger went off the roof. And that is what caused them to regain not only all the weight that they had lost, but a lot more. So I think what these patients underwent is a metabolic adaptation. That's what we call it in medical terms. But the bottom line is that it's a significant period of dieting, extreme exercise, led to significant stress around which which affected their metabolism. So I'm going to talk about these four secrets that nobody in the weight loss industry wants you to know, but these four killers or these four toxic uh, ingredients are the causes of long-term problems with ongoing weight problems. The pharmaceutical industry does not want you to know this. They want you to be on a low calorie diet, taking OptiFast, OptiSlim, and all those low calorie shakes forever. The manufacturers of uh, Sexenda, or I don't want to name many other medications like Duramine and Contrave, do not want you to know this because it, your weight problem is supporting the pharmaceutical industry. Let's go into this very quickly, very briefly, but very effectively. The first cause of ongoing weight issues is that of toxic stress. See, toxic stress comes, stress in its healthy range is really good for you. It causes you to go to work, have a drive, set goals, achieve them. But when it becomes toxic, it leads to a situation which is created because of multitasking. When you are multitasking, your brain is having to make so many decisions all in the same time and your brain goes to this condition called as decision fatigue. When you have decision fatigue because of multitasking for a long period of time and women experience this more than men do, well, we go for something that is like a reward. We go for convenience foods, and that is what is called the culture of convenience. We sit down, we want somebody to deliver food to us. We want food to come from package that is ready to eat. But most of these foods, sadly, are dead foods, which is what brings me to the next thing, which is called toxic inflammation. See, it is well known now, and COVID, taught us this, that obesity is an inflamed state. People who are overweight have got high levels of this thing called as CRP in their blood, which is a marker of inflammation in your body. 
What happens is inflammation is nothing but a fire. That's the literal meaning of the name inflammation. And when this fire or when this inflammation gets too much because of a significant consumption of processed foods, and a lot of them are sugary foods that have got processed chemicals and other toxins in it, which actually drives inflammation, this fire goes haywire. And that is the basis of chronic inflammatory conditions, not just obesity, but diabetes, ischemic heart disease, strokes, cancers, and very importantly, this new type three diabetes, which is called dementia or Alzheimer's disease, early onset dementia. Third secret or third toxic ingredient or third toxic part, which creates your ongoing problems of uh, obesity and weight issues is toxins in your diet. Now, see, our diet has become very refined. Our diet, because of, as I just mentioned, the culture of convenience is loaded with chemicals, preservatives, flavoring agents because they are flavor or taste enhancers. In fact, I was shocked to learn that there are people who are employed, these are scientists who are employed by these bigger companies that are making these convenience foods to increase the palatability index. These are called in people who make you crave for these foods like chocolates, chips, ice creams, and all of that, you know. And this is what is leading to an increased presence of these chemicals, which are called obesogens, which means they create obesity. They want you to be craving these foods without even realizing that this is hurting your waistline and also your wallet. The most important thing is that these toxins get concentrated as you go up in the higher in the food chain. That means if you're eating predominantly plants, you only have a certain limited exposure to these toxins. But as you start eating more and more meat-based diet, these toxins that are coming from the plants and then are eaten by the animals, and then you consume the animal flesh, you're not only consuming uh, the, uh, you know, the toxins, but they have been concentrated in the animal's flesh and they are much higher in amount. People who consume mostly swordfish, for example, you know, they are at a risk of developing mercury poisoning because these swordfish have eaten the smaller fishes which have got mercury in a smaller amount, but because you're eating the fish which has got more concentrated amounts of this mercury, which is a toxic chemical, a toxic metal, by the way, that creates more toxicity in your body. And the last and the most important one is the toxic gut microbiome. What I mean by that is that these bacteria that live in your gut and are determinants of your metabolism can sometimes become so toxic because of the years and years of feeding them with unhealthy processed sugar loaded diet. And these gut bacteria, in fact, experiments have been done on obese mice when their poo was taken and given to the lean mice, which, uh, you know, they, they consumed it. They found that these lean mice became overweight. So to start with, the bad bacteria come because of poor an unhealthy diet for a long period of time. But when you take these bacteria, because they have overgrown and become so powerful over a period of years, when you take these bacteria and put it in someone else's gut, that starts to create inflammation and poor metabolism. So these are the four key secrets that nobody wants you to do anything about. They just ask you and they take your at attention and get you to focus on calories. So think about this. And if you find value in this video, think about it that what can you do and what can you start doing from today onwards to start firstly to stop hurting yourself. I hope you found this video useful. Take care and subscribe to my channel so that you can stay updated for forthcoming videos.